I'm here with Mr. Powers. You are the proprietor of this particular establishment. One of the proprietors. One of the proprietors of the establishment. Correct. So how did you come up with the name and what time can we eat? Uh, you can eat starting at 4 o'clock. That's when our happy hour begins, but you know, we're open with full menu and all that. But uh, we came up with the name because the location was originally in the 20s a uh, garage, Ellesmere Garage. We started with that name and it just, it, it's the one that stuck. Of course, we went through a bunch of different names. What were some of the names you went through? Oh, Vegans process. Go Home, was that, that was going to be one no, of the No, no, no. We, we actually cater to uh, everyone. We have several items on the menu that are vegan. So. What about vegetarians? Yeah. So you do like animal doctors? Animal doctors, yeah. Now, there are several different styles of barbecue. I like the more wet sauces and yeah. the more wet meats. Now, how is that different than you? And well, your Central Texas, Texas is basically the rubs are minimal. Uh, r the brisket is almost always just salt and pepper. As far as our ribs and pork butts and chicken and all that, we do a minimal rub. <clears throat> it just makes me laugh when a man of your age says butt. Yeah. Oh, you're not the first one. What's a pork butt? The pork butt, it's the top of the leg. So it's the butt end of a, the, the leg of the pork. Do you like eating ass? You're a co-owner of Ellsbury. I am. And what inspired you guys to kind of break off from what you were doing before? Because you were exotic dancers, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. My physique. I was killing it. But uh, no, I just, we both wanted to eventually try to work for ourselves. My grandfather told me he had one boss and it was the U.S. Army, to always work for yourself if you have the chance. And finally had the chance, so we took the leap. So you guys said, right, we're going to try something on our own, open up a barbecue shack, pretty much, yep. in the heart of New England, or in the heart of Maine. Yep. And uh, by all accounts, you guys have been very, very successful. We, we have been, and uh, you know, barbecue is something we both really enjoy doing and, and like it. And evidently from your physique, you enjoy eating it too? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Who cares about physique? My cholesterol is going uh, straight through the roof right now. It's awesome. <laughs> so you guys have taken a passion. You come together, you created something extraordinarily unique, and the community's pretty much embraced you. Yes. And again, with your physique, they need big arms. Yeah, about big, I, I'm absolutely. just saying it because look at me, man. <laughs> It's like if you feel, you can feel the baby kick. <laughs> now, you both have backgrounds in the culinary arts. What inspired you to kind of say, right, we're going to do the barbecue here in Maine? Uh, we did, we had a small barbecue catering company years ago, more of a hobby than anything, helping out friends. We did a couple weddings and parties. It's just something we'd like to do. If we were going to own our own business and put 100 hour work weeks in, we want to be doing something we enjoy doing, which is barbecue. Now, being your own boss, have you ever docked yourself pay for coming in late? Not yet. No. Not yet. You've never written yourself up? No. Not yet. I work for myself and I do that quite a bit. Yeah. What's the matter? What do you think? Maybe you're smoking the wrong one. Most people, when they smoke, they have to go outside, but you literally have your smoker outside. Yeah, we got our firebox right here. This is where we keep the wood. Hello, Cerebus. Hello, Cerebus. That's like hotter than the hinges of hell, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, right now, this is about 25 degrees off from what's going on in there, so I'm actually gonna turn it down a little bit. What the hell was that? Should I run? Yeah, that's our damper. So now I'm damping the fire down. Well, if that thing makes another noise like that, I'm gonna dampen my pants, because I almost... <laughs> Everything, you know, cooks at different times. So it's the pork butts and the, uh, I said it again. <laughs> and briskets that go overnight. Everything else is a little bit shorter. So, you know, we cook our chicken wings just during the day. And then we have holding boxes that we keep everything in for service. Holding keep... boxes. Yeah. That reminds me of, uh, did you ever see Cool Hand Luke? I did see Cool Hand Luke. What we have here is a failure to communicate with that damper. <laughs> ah. 
So obviously you've shared your secret dreams and your desires and we had that luckily off camera. Oh, yeah. But I told yeah. you, you know, we gotta keep it clean here. Yeah. So can you tell me, we're rolling, right? Can you just please tell me one secret of your secret sauce? <laughs> right, huh? Yeah, yeah. I bet you never thought, huh? Woo! I'm <laughs> <laughs>